trying to record i don't know what's going on but it keeps it's the metro the mercury retrograde or some energy doesn't want me to record this video i don't understand it's like i'm sending out nothing but positive positive love lots of light energy um uh, namaste to my beautiful beings of light. Once again, my name is Jeanette and I am a spiritual being and I am sharing my spiritual journey with you guys at this time and I'm very thankful for those who are subscribing and for those who comment and uh, just get, you know, listen to my videos. I appreciate you. Thank you. Well, I wanted to start off with uh, um, Oracle cards for the energy today. And it keeps coming out. Yes, she is like on fire. This is, she keeps coming out. I just have to say, the moon goddess. She is, she is showing herself today. She just wants, she is, oh my God, I love her. I am in harmonious flow with the moon energy and all phases of life. And this is number 41, which is a five. To me, I do numer numerology as well. Number five means change. So the cycles of the moon is also changing every day. It's a different phase of the moon. Though, for those who don't follow the moon, um, it's good to look at the moon cycles and how it affects our bodies and our minds and our and it, like I said, it also um, does a lot of um, important when you do surgeries, what days to do it, not to do it because the moon plays a major role in the recovery as well. I learned this through reading the book of uh, the moon. And then number 41, which is the moon goddess, it says, I am in harmonious flow with the moon energy in all phases of life. The moon goddess symbolizes the connection between the moon and the earth. She reminds us that we need to connect to and live in harmony with the moon phases as they affect our bodies, like I said, and our minds, the oceans, plants, and animals. But, oh, by connecting to a living, oh man, I can't even read what is going on. By connecting into, gotta stop, no, sorry. Let me just take a break because this metrograde is really, uh, okay. <laughs> by connecting to and living in harmony with these cycles, we can better understand ourselves and all life and all life on this planet. Each cycle has its own benefits and strengths that you can use to gain knowledge and wisdom. Only by learning to live with these natural lunar cycles will your journey through life become smoother and more enjoyable. Oh. Take notice on how the varying phases of the moon affect your mood and your body and learn to plan your life according to them. Do not resist them. Understand that there are phases you must go through. Once you accept these cycles, you can use each of your each to your own benefit. Learning when you will be at your peak performance or when it's best to rest or move into a more passive stage of your life. I got to tell you because I, I feel the energies of the moon myself. I feel it. I follow it. I am learning how to incorporate those energies into my into my life to, to maintain the balance of my mental body, emotions, everything because it does it does play a major role there. I know when certain times when the moon is um, at a certain phase, I'm not able to sleep. It's like when the, the new moon starts to it starts to begin. These uh, I'm not able to sleep. I 
yeah the body some some parts of my body starts to swell and this is all part of the moon phases so i am learning how to work with it and accept it and just go with the flow of it and um love it and also learn how to manifest with the moon also learn how to release with the moon and uh it's just about it's a lot. <laughs> the spiritual journey has taught me so much, has uh, guided me to moon phases and le learning about the moon, the stars, the, the sun. Um, very connected because I'm very connected to the sun and the moon. Um, being from a be being that I am a star seed and also uh, there's a lot of phases to my life as well, I swear, because I am a very, very old soul. So there's many facets to who I truly am, and I truly accept each and every one of them because my ancestors are so powerful, and I love them so much, and I'm very thankful for being on this planet at this time because it just... We is needed. It's much needed. It's much needed, and uh, that was one of the oracles. I just want to see what uh, the Lumerian cards want to say today. Oracle cards. These are beautiful cards. I love them. Love them. Love them. Let's see. Say spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Can I get this one card? One. one. Oh. a lot but nope i'm not gonna take them i'm just going to take two turn around so i'll just take these two and let's see what they say i'm gonna do surrender first this is surrender oh my god you see how her body is just flowing and just surrendering to To everything she's just in the flow trusting that we can achieve more by losing control can take great courage by losing control can take great courage sometimes the most constructive way forward is to stop forcing things into being okay this is a message for me today because this is the third fourth time I hear this message rather than allowing inviting and drawing a project into being the energy here is a frustration as if you are pushing something heavy up a mountain and gravity or flow don't seem to be on your side hmm. use this awareness as a guide when you start to detour from your path when control is released, so too is resistance. Loosen, loosen your hold on the reins, reins and know that the universe will catch you. Trust. Let the great mysteries reveal itself. Loose yourself. Just let it go. Whatever you're holding on, whatever, whatever it is, you have to release then make sure know that everything is going to be taken care of know that the divine has your best interest whatever you controlling whatever issues that you have stress whatever is going on here in your world just release it and know that you have to release it you can't hold on to it because um you're just you're just holding on to something that you're not letting it flow or letting it happen so you're only hindering your home your own life so this is another one this is the unique gift oh my god yes i love this one we all have gifts to bring to the world if we all did what we truly excelled in and enjoyed, our talents and abilities will would enable our communities and our planet to thrive. If you haven't connected with your purpose, look at your quirks and what they're telling you. What makes you unique? Look for the positive, the positive sides of your 
add, add additives and traits. Things you have considered shortcoming might be the qualities that enable your gifts. Are there anything you like to try or feel pulled to explore? Now it's time to blow these whispers and that you never know what they may reveal. Yeah, we all have gifts, okay? We all have talent. Some of us are afraid to just explore or even pick up something new that we is urging to or said someone someone has told you wasn't good enough to do. So I was told I wasn't good enough to sing. So I was told I wasn't good enough uh, to paint. I wasn't good enough. But you know what? I paint and I don't care. I'll go here. I paint and I, uh, I'm reading oracle cards now. I'm reading tarot cards. I am. Uh, I have expanded my world even more because of the limited mind belief that people have tried to implement into my being. I released all that, so now I am more creative. I enjoy um, doing different things. I. Who knew that I was going to be into crystals? Who knew that I was going to even do a YouTube channel? I didn't know that. This uh, you gonna do a YouTube channel? No, girl, please. <laughs> you can't. No, no. Like, yeah, yeah. You could do whatever you want. It doesn't matter what anybody say. When somebody really wants to do, want is 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 wants the best for you. They encourage you. They don't hinder your joy or or hinder your your excitement of what you want to do with your life. They will encourage you. That's where you have to see who who is the the light and who is the dark. Okay, because I, I like to use light and dark because light always are it's always encouraging. It's always positive. The dark is always like putting it's not it's not very it's not a very happy person. Okay, so we have to really distinguish the light and the dark. Which way do I go? Oh I like the light. I love the light. I the dark gives me the strength, so I know how to balance and each each molecule atom whatever it is is like energies we have to learn how to balance each and both of them and also know how to when these energies come in learn how to just transmute them and just send them with love rather than uh, a negative negative mind thought or negative energies towards them, just send them love and peace and say, it's my life, I will choose what I need to choose at this time. I wanna say thank you to all, thank you for tuning to my channel today. This is the message that I was guided to give today. I am very, very thankful for my angels, my guides, my ancestors, my galactic family, my family from behind the veil, my fam. I love you all, my ascended masters, the universe. I love you, Mother Gaia. I am so thankful. I am so trustworthy of my universe and that I only serve my creator and I'm very thankful and very grateful and Hope you guys enjoy your day and don't remember always go within always send out these beautiful positive energies to everyone for we are all one just know that we are all connected namaste